606 and for the first time in 25 years, Jack Tri Stadium will be transformed into a concert venue. George Strait will be back in Ames next year after being one of the last acts to play Jack Trice back in 1999. But a lot has changed at the stadium since then. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning with how Iowa State plans to pull it all off. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Kaylin. So really, they plan on filling the stadium with 55 thousand people to watch that concert uh, with the stadium at the north end of the stadium or the stage at the north end of the stadium. They will fill the entire horseshoe as well as seats on the field. A concert is the perfect opportunity to show off the new Sidetown development and Iowa State is used to seeing big crowds at Jack Trice. There will be a lot of planning and work that goes into it. There's been a lot of planning that's already gone into it. Um, you know, for the most part, it will, we're treating it like a football game day. So the other six or seven, you know, games that are hosted in here, it will operate very similarly to that. Not exactly, you know, there'll be some tweaks to how we operate parking, how we operate traffic. You know, the, the fans in here, you know, it won't be the same set of football fans. So people that aren't as familiar with the stadium, but we're, we're excited to bring about 55,000 in here for the concert. Tickets are already on sale. George Strait will be joined with Chris Stapleton in Little Big Town. They're playing May 25th, and you can find tickets on georgestrait.com or on a link on our website later this morning. Uh, the tickets are pretty pricey for what's left, around $225, uh, some even going up to thousands of dollars, depending on uh, where you are in the stadium. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see just what it looks like when that stadium is full of all those fans to see the first concert here in 25 years. Yeah, a lot of people remember George Strait being at Jack Trice 25 years ago, so they might want to reprise it again in 2024. We'll see who all buys tickets. Griffin Wright reporting live for us this morning in Ames. Thank you, Griffin.